Okay, so first of all, I have here data from an aircraft campaign in which air samples were taken at regular intervals during a flight. This is the latitude and the longitude of where each of the samples was taken from. And then here is the concentration of a particular compound, CFC113A, in each of those air samples. Now I want to represent this using a bubble graph where the latitude and the longitude are the axes and the concentration is represented by the size of the bubble. So I'm going to highlight this and insert. I'm going to go here and select bubble graph. Then I'm going to right click, select data. I'm going to remove this data. Then I'm going to add in my own data and the series name is going to be this and the x values are going to be the longitude and the y values the latitude and then the series bubble size will be the concentrations. OK, OK and here I have my graph but the bubbles are all squashed together so I'm going to change this Going to select the whole of my data set and instead of the size being a hundred percent of the scale I'm going to make it 50% to make all the bubbles smaller. I'm then going to change the axes to spread out the bubbles and I will make the minimum 60 and the maximum can be 100 and then on this axis I will make the minimum 10 and the maximum 30. Now uh, the problem with my data is that almost all of these concentrations are about 0.5 or just slightly more than that so all of the bubbles look about the same size. I'm going to fix this and try and accentuate the difference by taking each of these concentrations and minusing 0.51 from each of them. Now if I click on my graph again, I should be able to get it to highlight where it's taking the data from. And I can just click and move this across. And now you see that all the bubbles start to look different sizes. Now I want to also add data labels to this. So add data labels. And then I will change this. I don't want it to be the Y values. I want it to show the bubble size, but unfortunately because I've now selected different data to be my bubble size, it doesn't actually show what the concentration really is. So I'm going to use values from cells instead. I'm going to select the concentrations and then press OK. And now I have the actual concentrations there and I'll put these into the centre of the bubbles and also I don't need all those decimal places there. So I can highlight the data set and press Control 1 and then format this so it is numbers with two decimal places. I could um, could also have changed the number options down here as well, but it doesn't make a difference. Now if I just do some more formatting on this, I'll make it bold and I'll make it a size 12. And now I have each of my bubbles and the size of the concentrations they represent. Now I want to add a map underneath of this so I can show the approximate location on the earth of where these samples were taken. So I'm going to go to this website here and I am going to find my location on the map and I happen to know that it was over India. If I zoom in to try and get the right location for this and that looks about right to me and I want my image to match up with the axis options that I've selected. So I need it to go from 10 to 30 and then from 60 to 100. So these eight boxes here is what I'm after. 
Now I'm going to get a hold of these by searching for the snipping tool and selecting this and this will white out the whole of my screen but now I can just click and drag the box that I want trying to be as accurate as possible. Okay, and then I'm going to save this and I'm just going to call it map. Now I can close this and open up Excel again and select the plot area and then fill with a picture or textile fill and then insert and then just select the map and insert that and now I have my map as the background and I will delete the grid lines on the graph because they're just covering up the image now and here it is I have it matches up with the 10 to 30 and the 60 to 100 axes that I have selected so this is approximately the location where each of these samples was taken from and then the concentration of this compound at each of those locations. Okay, and that is it.